was going to say, I think it's on pause, but it's not. There's a lot of pause here, actually. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to me doing the last part of Paul McCartney, which sounds a little painful, doesn't it? And um, so this is the goodies from the late 80s. Goody, goody, yum, yum. And firstly, we've got from the flowers in the dirt period now with my brave face. Now, it's a shame I don't have glasses anymore because I could do that, but I didn't have those colors anyway. <laughs> so I can, I can always kind of do some kind of effect or something like that on them right now. Doesn't that look ugly? All right, there we go. But I suppose if nothing else, I suppose you, you've got to be a bit brave to do that. And the next single, actually, I preferred this one actually. There we are. I preferred this one because of it being so groovy and the, the rainbow there. Now, why would I like the rainbow? Maybe why. And so, yeah, I, was, I did quite like this one. It sounds funny. It's like, I did quite like this one, and that's the title. I did like this one, this one. This one I did like. This one. Mm. But there was another version of it that was done in the UK, which is like a letterbox or an envelope, I should say. It's rare that I've opened this, but we've got a copy of the single there. So no difference there with the, the cover and everything. Same with the back. No difference with the back. And you unstuck it with that, which I actually didn't really want to do, but how was I to get these out? But you got postcards, so of, of I think his band. I haven't looked at these for years. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got um, postcards of his band. So obviously, well, there's Paul. Well, um, and I've forgotten the names of the people in the band too. <laughs> oh, there's Linda. <laughs> That's obviously That's the next one. But the rest, I don't, unless they're written on the, oh, it is written on there. So that's Hamish, Hamish Stewart there, looking very intense. He was sort of did, didn't he? There's Wix, who actually worked with uh, Nick Kershaw. I just kind of thought that interesting. Oh, he's gone from Nick Kershaw to Paul McCartney. Ah. Chris Whitten, who's obviously the drummer. Now we've got that rather groovy guy that um, really enjoys playing drums. He's been with uh, Fab Macker's band for years, but he's, he's, he's great, great value to watch. And lucky last, there's Robbie McIntosh. Now, obviously all of these you're not going to post. I wonder if people actually did. It's like, oh, I'll post you a Robbie McIntosh. <laughs> Here. Um, I don't know. I think that's one way of sort of. I don't think I'd like the idea of that. I see it. Obviously, I didn't do it. Oh, and it's got previously unavailable version of Long and Winding Road. Oh, it has too. Oh. So, obviously, it might be the same back as the Australian copy, but with one huge difference. You've got the first stone on here and the long and winding road on here. So you go from a stone to a road. Or you can put them together and have a stone road. Follow up single to that is figure of eight. And the beat with the B side being Ooh A Lay Salail. Kind of looking a bit like an outtake photo that with a bit of yellow denim happening there. Now this one I bought new. In actual fact I bought this so new I've never played it. So you can honestly say this is, what do they refer to as like mint, minty, mint, mint, mint condition? Or well, something like that. No, it doesn't smell like it. The next one I don't think was released in Australia. This is, now I'm getting into UK copies. Uh, put it there. And I remember the story, I always liked the story to this, of sort of put it there if it weighs a ton from his dad. Basically I liked the, um, the thing of sort of put it there if it weighs a ton, so effectively just 
you know, if it's getting you down, shove it over there and hopefully that'll fix things. That's sort of the way I, I always interpret it. This was the fourth single to Flowers in the Dirt, but I don't think this was released in Australia. In fact, I'm quite sure this wasn't released in Australia. I think that um, they decided that the figure of eight was, wasn't exactly a great number, so I thought, well, we'll just stop at eight. We'll stop at eight so we can't put it there. So I might have the order of this wrong like I did with the last video. Next up is All My Trials. Now, um, does that tell you everything you need to know what I thought about this? It was just... Um, I mean, I can understand, I guess I can understand why he did it, but it's probably worth it for the B-side though, Sea Moon. The, which, the title of which I always thought should be covered by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. So at least you're getting a live version of Simu. And next up is The Long and Winding Road. Probably not content with um, the version that was released off of Let It Be. He must have thought, oh, this will give me the opportunity to release this as a single. So I'll release this in Germany. <laughs> but I feel a bit ripped off here. The B-side is Simu. And I suppose that thing, the cross in the background, would have to do with Mother, Mother Mary, maybe? I love how that shirt looks like giant sutures, though. And lucky last is the German version of Birthday. Now, I've always loved this live version, to be honest. There's Paul getting a bit of cricketing action there. I don't know if that Hofner would make a great bat, but there we go. But yeah, I've always really liked this live version. I, I've always found that to be better than the one on the on the White album. Yeah, it just seems to, I don't know, it just seems to rock a bit better, I think. Anyway, I'm just going to keep looking away from the camera while I'm speaking because I'm so busy doing all of this. Oh, <laughs> did it again. <laughs> There's not a video that goes by where I don't kind of put the thing in there and I I drop it. Mm. Butterfingers. Mm. Well, in that case, uh, put it in the right light, that'd be yellow. Butter. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that Fab Macca part. Um, uh, infinite. And um, if you did like this, please do the likes and subscribes and all of that sort of stuff. And... Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate that. And please do the likes and subscribes like I just said. And please take care of yourself. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Ciao. Long and winding road That leads to your door And cracks your wrists